Folks, something huge just dropped in the AI world, and the most shocking part is that it didn't come from OpenAI or Google. A tiny startup in Singapore just unveiled a new AI agent called HRM, and it might be the biggest breakthrough in reasoning we've seen in years. Exactly, Rodrigo. And the detail is that it's not bigger. It wasn't trained on more data. On the contrary, it was built in a completely different way. Somehow this model, inspired by the human brain, is outsmarting models that are more than four times its size. It's impressive because models like ChatGPT break down problems step by step. But if there's a tiny error, everything can fall apart. The HRM takes a completely different route. It thinks in loops like the human brain, and the results are shocking. And look, before you think this is just another tiny model beats GPT headline, this one actually holds up. The HRM isn't a scaled down LLM. It's not a simplified transformer. It's something totally different that mimics the brain and not in that generic, it's a neural network way. It literally borrows the brain's layered decision-making strategy and applies it to artificial intelligence reasoning. And because of this architecture, a model with just 27 million parameters surpasses models with over 100 million or even billions. To give you an idea, GPT-1 had 117 million parameters, the HRM 27 million. That's right, less than a quarter of the size. But here's the crucial point. It outperformed Claude 3.7 and the OpenAI 03 mini high model on reasoning benchmarks. Most current models rely on what we call chain of thought prompting, which is basically the AI talking to itself to solve a problem. And that seems smart, and sometimes it works. But if the AI makes a single error in that chain, the entire answer falls apart. The HRM simply ignores that. It doesn't rely on the chain holding up. It reasons like a human, thinking strategically and then executing quickly. And how does it do that, Rodrigo? The HRM has two parts that communicate with each other, a high-level planner and a low-level worker. The planner is like the slow, strategic part of the brain. It maps out the big picture. The worker is the fast processor, which executes orders efficiently. It's like a chess master and the assistant who executes the moves instantly. And the two parts enter a loop. The high-level module makes the plan, the low-level one executes it and returns the results, and the high-level one updates itself. This back and forth continues until the model arrives at the answer. This isn't just a gimmick, it's in the architecture. And it gives the model something others don't have, a way to internally check and refine its own reasoning during the process. And the results, as you said, are insane. On the ARC-AGI benchmark, which is like an IQ test for AI, the HRM scored 40.3%. That's more than the 21.2% of Claude 3.7 and the 34.5% of the OpenAI 03 Mini High model. These aren't small differences. It's a tiny model running on a single GPU, beating some of the biggest names in the market in raw reasoning. And there's more, Rodrigo. In the Sudoku test, at difficult and extreme levels, the HRM solved 55% of the puzzles. Do you know how many Claude or OpenAI's models solved? 0%. Not a single one. And in the maze challenge, with 30 by 30 grids, the HRM found the optimal path in 74.5% of the tests. The others, again, zero. And all this with the model trained with just 1,000 examples per task. That's right. No massive internet data sets, no months of pre-training. Guan Wang, one of the creators, said you could train it to be a Sudoku Pro in just two hours of GPU. Two hours. That's not just efficient. It's ridiculous. And this way of building the HRM solves deeper problems of current transformer models. You know, models like GPT work with a fixed number of steps for each output token. They think the same amount. Regardless of how difficult the question is, they can't stop and say, wait, this is tough. I need to think longer. Exactly. They can't go back, rethink, or rewrite the output after it starts. Once they generate a token, they're stuck with it. It's like trying to solve a math problem by writing one number at a time with a pen without being able to check if you're on the right track. The HRM breaks through that barrier. Its two-level architecture allows it to adapt the amount of reasoning based on the complexity of the problem. 
There's even a version that uses reinforcement learning to decide for itself how many iterations it needs. For simple tasks, it repeats only a few times. For harder ones, it repeats more. This brings it much closer to real flexible thinking than anything else we've seen. And it also avoids one of the biggest problems in AI training today, deep back propagation through time. Most models need a lot of memory and processing for this, and it's not how the biological brain works. The HRM uses more local gradient updates, which are easier to compute and more biologically plausible. And that makes a difference in practice. Less memory means you can run more models at once or train faster with fewer resources. And it scales very well. You could run the HRM on a laptop or even on smaller devices, like robots. And that's exactly what Sapien is doing. They're already testing the HRM in healthcare to diagnose rare diseases and in seasonal climate forecasting, where it achieved 97% accuracy. And the startup's team is top-notch, Rodrigo. Former engineers from DeepMind, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and even Elon Musk's XAI group. These are people who have worked at the cutting edge of AI, and they're betting that this brain-inspired design of the HRM will overcome the limits of large language models. They're not afraid to say it. Guan Wang said that AGI is about giving machines human-level intelligence and eventually going beyond. Chain of thought is just a shortcut. What we built is something that can think. This confidence usually comes from people trying to sell something, but in this case, the results are proving it. And you don't just have to take their word for it. The entire project is open source. You can check it out on GitHub right now, train your own version, modify it, see how it works. This transparency is rare for something so promising. Claro, and of course, it's still early days, the HRM has a narrow focus, reasoning, not chatting. Don't expect it to write poetry or summarize emails. But as a proof of concept, it's one of the strongest we've seen. And the HRM is not alone. Exactly. There are other breakthroughs out there. Sakana is working on continuous thought machines. And Google is testing reasoning models based on diffusion. All of them are still in the experimental phase, but they are part of the same trend, rethinking how AI should really work instead of just making it bigger. And the big difference is that the HRM is already working. It's already beating models four times its size with a fraction of the data and no pre-training. It's not just theory anymore. And honestly, unless someone suddenly invests billions in building a new foundational model from scratch, the next big leap in AI probably won't be another scaled up GPT clone. It will be something like this, a totally new architecture that brings better reasoning, faster training and cheaper deployment without needing a warehouse full of GPUs. If the HRM's path continues, we could have AI agents that don't live in data centers, but in our laptops, robots or cars and they won't just be parroting the internet, they'll actually be thinking. So what do you think? Do you believe this is the future of artificial general intelligence? Leave your comments. We'll read all of them. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see more breakthroughs like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.